¿Qué pasa, bandita? Today we have a very different video because yesterday Bansi announced that he's opening his own shop. The post says, this showroom is for display purposes only. I'm opening a shop today, although the doors don't actually open, it's in Croydon, probably best view at night. According to the news, Banksy put on sale stuff like a Stomsy Stab Best, yes, the one he used in Glastonbury, a cradle surrounded by CCTV, a Tony the Tiger Rock, and much more. Well, let's go to Croydon then, let's see and find out what's going on over there. While we get there, let me tell you that the shop is called Gross Domestic Product. Obviously referring to the measurement of values economic activity in the country. He was being forced to launch an online shop because a greeting card company was attempting to trade legally using his name. By opening this shop, which sold his merchandise, would help him to protect the trademark on his art. He thinks they're working on the idea that he won't show up in court to defend himself. in Croydon, now we need to find this place. Despite trying to defend his artistic rights, in this particular case, he had not changed his position on copyright. He said, I still encourage anyone to copy, borrow, steal, and amend my art for amusement, academic research, or activism I just don't want them to get sole custody of my name. We finally hear people and this is a famous shop. This gross domestic product shop is composed by five windows. For those who are wondering where the shop is, it's in the corner with Fried Road and Church Street. Welcome to the next level in artist design homewares, <clears throat> downwards, where art irritates life. In the first room, Banksy has created the baby mobile an ultimate ceiling mount stimulus toy to prepare your little one for the journey ahead. A lifetime of constant scrutiny, both staying sanctioned and self-imposed. By the way, it doesn't rotate very well, self-assembly require. Besides the cradle, we have the clock. Upcycle from supplies store, this time piece features his trademark rats. As Bansi says, these clocks are suitable for home offices or home office. <laughs> for those who don't know what home office is, it's a government department that is in charge of the immigration in the UK. Are you the kind of person who likes their pets to come in earth and table mounted? Then this is the product for you. The futile pursuit of the unattainable cast in high quality resin. It requires no pommel filters, but includes a decorative pot of fish food. Are you fed up with soft furnishings trying to express feelings on your behalf? Then let these stencil cushions make that clear. They come as a pair but might not match as they are painted on finds from the charity shop. Above the cushions we have the drawer. Banks' first experiment with a new technique for making prints. 
spray the stencil onto processing film and expose the result directly onto a silk screen. This avoids having to use photography or computer manipulation and creates a very accurate analog representation of mark making. On the floor, there is a bit of old carpet painted to resemble the diabetes riddled corpse of Tony the Tiger. Especially if the conversation centers around the UK spending over 7.8 million pounds a year on tooth extractions for the under fives. On the background there is an axe which was made in collaboration with the Spanish artist Esif. This handmade tool with a happy ending makes a fine decorative companion to fireside or radiator. Right in front of the window you can see the early learning counting set. Engage all your child's learning muscles with this fun counting game. See how many figures they can fit in the truck while it makes a quick stop. In window 3 we can find the famous best, a version of the John Bull English Gents waistcoat updated for modern times. This customized body armor is capable of stopping bullets up to .45 caliber and is fully stab proof. Unfortunately London knife crime has drastically increased so this customized body armor will keep you protected. Croydon born rapper Stomsy wore this best in Glastonbury Festival. This is probably why this exhibition was located here. What do you buy for the person who has everything? A 230 kilo reminder that you can take it with you. Above the tombstone we have a police helmet. This home entertainment lighting system is made from an old police riot helmet and approximately 650 little mirrors. Comes with heavy duty chain and motto, a small grenade not included. On the left hand side we have a high tensile tactical support grappling hook made from an old wooden cross. Comes with 20 feet of knotted rope not suitable for loads over 50 kilograms. On the following window there is a clutch bag. This fashion forward accessory is made from a genuine real life house brick and is perfect for the kind of person who doesn't carry much but might need to whack someone in the face. Beside the clutch bag we can find a Victorian style frame that turned into a snake leaving its art behind. Ladies and gents, let me introduce you to a TV as never seen before. Perfect for the snowflake generation, a 55 inch color TV with a big Bansy painting on it. Whilst totally fine from an art point of view, this does impart the viewing quality. This is the welcome mat. This hardware in floor covering is hand stitched from life vests abandoned on the beaches of Lesbos by migrants crossing the Mediterranean. Customers are advised that they no longer constitute a valid buoyancy aid. Although shockingly they never did, many are cheap flakes sold by people as muggles and don't actually float. The first thing we see is a t-shirt called Balloon Tea. This image has been the jewel in the crown of every Banksy bootlegger for the past 15 years. Now the first official version comes with an actual jewel on it. Beside this there is a tea with a famous piece called Girl with Balloon, the one that was shredded after it was sold for 1 million pounds at Sotheby's. The piece upon the wall is called Banskiat, a print made in homage to New York pioneer John Michel Basquiat, 
Apparently, Bansi is questioning the relentless commodification of Basquiat in recent times by adding to the relentless commodification of Basquiat in recent times. Touche. Underneath the frame, there is Banksy's crockery. Have you ever thought my kid could do that? Well, so has Banksy and now they have. Required by a court to release a range of mugs in China where Banksy got the kids to do it, then signed the result. The artist is marketing this as a brand new product. It certainly isn't an old can of paint with his label rip off that he's written his name on. By the way, all the products shown above can be purchased at www.grossdomesticproduct.com or maybe not. In the last but not least room, we have a bunch of life jackets using, using by the migrants that cross the channel here to England. Unfortunately, it's time to go. I don't want to go, it's really nice. But talking to the people, the security people, they told me that it's going to be open at least two weeks, but it could be less. It really depends on Banksy, isn't it? But they don't know, it's what they've been told. The longest two weeks, but could be less. So if you really want to see it, do not hesitate and come as soon as possible because you never know what's going to happen. If you're a fan of Banksy, like and you enjoy this video, please share it, comment, like, and all of that. Share it, share it, share it, people! See you next time!